English is the next generation programming language. Not because grammar is important, not because accents matter, but because this is how we build things now. When people hear that line, they think it's exaggerated. But look at how we build things now. We don't click buttons anymore. We explain, we describe, we correct, we guide. And the language we use to do that is English. Yes. So this is the bigger shift most people don't understand. Yes, AI can't understand what you mean, but it can understand only what you say. Yes, so if your instructions are messy, then the output is also going to be missing. So you need to know how to prompt properly. Yes, so to prompt properly, the easiest language, the global language you can use is simply English. Yes, English is the easiest language for you to use for prompting. So somebody, some, someone of you will ask me, uh, bro, just why, why English? I can use any of other languages. Why English? Okay, let me explain here. Yes, there are translation models and all, but when you use AI, when you use it for like harder tasks, even to uh, build apps, build uh, sites, build uh, products and all, when you use AI, English is the easiest option. Okay, because AI models are built out of it. AI can understand all of your English prompts very quickly, very, very quickly. And of course, I think China is also building Chinese models. But so far in this current world, <laughs> English model. Now, I think when I'm making this video, Germany is the powerful model, Germany 3. But I don't know. I don't know what will happen tomorrow and day after tomorrow because every week I'm seeing a new AI update. Every one of them are competing. Uh, Gemini, uh, ChatGPT, Perplexity, and there are more and more coming up. And DeepSeek, there are a lot of AI models coming up. But again, end of the day, to work with all of these, English is the easiest language. Okay, so in this video, we are going to break down how you can approach AI with your English. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you the reason behind I'm making this video. Okay, the reason number one is most of my friends, I've seen uh, the college friends and uh, the people who do uh, work with the AI and all, I've seen they have AI, but still they are struggling to do it with AI. But to me, AI is making my work easier. That's the reality. So I, I started to take a step back and uh, I mean think about it and when I look at how they are prompting and how they are working then only I understood what's the real problem is so AI the same I mean the same thing which I'm asking to do with AI it's giving the right outcome but for my friend it's not giving the reason is prompting is wrong the way you communicate with AI is wrong so it's like handling your girlfriend okay so you can't rush everything. You can't ask your girlfriend to do everything at once, right? So you should know how to ask it step by step, like how to convince step by step, right? So likewise, to convince the AI, you should know how to do it step by step. So that's where you can become a good prompt engineer. Okay, cool. So let's see today uh, how you can do it. What are the practices you can follow to improve yourself in this AI uh, prompting? Okay, so, but before that, a disclaimer. Now, from this moment onward, this video is not for the intermediate or expert level people who do already prompt engineering. No, this is for the people who are just starting out, who still not getting, not into the uh, AI models or anything. Okay, so this video is for them. Definitely not for the intermediate expert people. This is for completely beginners. So number one, prompting is not a technical skill. It's just structured English. So you should know how to structure it and question it uh, from the AI. So for example, you want to do an assignment. You just upload it and say, it, uh, I bro, just finish it. Then of course it will finish, but it's going to get caught in the, uh, like the quill bot or whatever it is. So prompting is just explaining context, stating what you want, saying what you don't want and giving examples. That's not coding, that's communication. Yes, so that's what I'm saying again and again in this video. It's not coding, it's communication. So the next thing is wipe coding. Yes, recently many of us talking about wipe coding, right? So uh, let's think about it a bit because, okay, now if you know a programming language, before earlier, if you know a programming language, you are a programmer. But now 
now of course if you know a programming language you are a programmer but if you know how to handle ai you can become a builder definitely not a programmer but you can become a builder so what does that mean yes so you have a problem you need a solution so you can use the ai model to build that solution that's it but if you should know how to prompt properly and you should have a good english to do it so that's it so this is one of the great example of application of this uh, english in ai okay in this 2025 in the january i remember chat gpt was so so basic okay trust me it was so basic and gemini was even even more basic okay no one cares about gemini but look at now look at now the transformation so this year it's a huge transformation in terms of these ai models so you should also transform yourself to communicate with ai so we were making a lot video about communicating with humans but of course this is also very very important in this era you should know how to communicate with ai as well and you should be polite and you should be uh, clear and structured when you talk to ai i mean again whatever you talk it's going to reply but if you be structure clear and also if you be straight to the point then ai will make your job easy that's it okay then english is the next generation programming language yeah that is the summary of this video yeah but again it doesn't matter how many tools you know it doesn't matter how many ai tools you know what really matters is how you talk to them